Okay. Let's talk about inserting your data table, your graph, and your labeled diagram into a Google Doc. Now, the first thing that has to happen is um, somebody from your group is going to need to create a spreadsheet. So um, I'll walk you through that. One person in your group is going to do that. So this is going to be a group piece. Okay. Um, but then um, individually, everyone's going to create a document. And you're going to create and name your document just like I've named mine here. Okay, um, so let's start by launching Drive. Go ahead, log into Drive, and I'm going to log in while you're doing that. Okay, now I'm logged into Drive, and what I'm going to do is if I'm the person that's creating that spreadsheet, I'm going to click Create Spreadsheet, and then I'm going to share every member of my group in. Okay, and that spreadsheet should look like this. Uh, I'll share up here. Please know that, that as long as it's in your shared file, you don't need to share it with um, your teachers because it's already shared. Once that, once that spreadsheet is shared, what your group is going to do is in two columns, you're going to list the mass and the distance of all of your launches. Um, you're going to make sure that you note the masses in grams and distances in centimeters. Um, and your goal is to get a lot of different data points. So you'll notice that I've got over 50 data points here. You probably want even more than that. Okay. Um, once you've got all of these pieces, once the lab is done, and you've got all of these, these data points inserted, we're going to do a couple different things. Um, but the first thing that we'll do is we'll create our own Catapult Lab Report, and we're going to insert some of these documents, some of these pieces in there. So do that. Um, even from this menu, you can click File, and then new document. Please name that document your last name, comma catapult report, or catapult lab report. Now we're going to do a couple different things so we'll start with the easiest one. Um, first thing let's, that we'll do is we're going to add the data table. So just type the words data table with a colon and then head to your data, the data table, copy the link, highlight data table and insert that link. Now this is exactly the same type of thing that you do when you're inserting a, a textual citation for a picture. So once you've done that, that data table is linked to this document. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to create the graph. Okay, So let's go back to the data table and let's highlight these two columns. And then we're going to click insert chart. Now there's a lot of different chart options, but the one that we're going to use is on the second tab. It's not on the start page, it's on the charts page. And it's the fifth, one, two, three, four, fifth one down, it's the scatter chart. Okay, and then you're going to click on that top scatter chart. And click insert. And what that's going to do is it's going to insert that chart right into your data table. Now, the first thing you need to do before you do anything else okay is we need to label the x and the y axis so if you do, if you click on it you'll notice that that left axis um, title is there and we're going to name that mass okay and then we're going to click on this horizontal axis and name it distance okay and you can do a lot of different things you can change the font color if you want um, or you can leave that the way that it was. Okay, but you don't, that's what that's what we need to do. And then what I would do is I would title the chart um, catapult lab data. Okay, so now I've got my catapult lab data, I've got my axis points um, labeled. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to insert that chart into your Google Doc. And the easiest way to do that is to click that down arrow and save image. At which point in time that image okay, is going to pop up right on your desktop. Okay, um, So once that image pops up on your desktop, what you're going to do is you're going to head back to you're going to head back to your document 
and then you're just going to go to your desktop and you're going to drag that chart right in. Okay, and then that, that chart is just, a, is just a picture. So you can minimize, you can make it as, as large or as small as you want. Okay, now this information we're just throwing up on there. Um, what we're going to wind up doing is organizing it as you develop your, your lab review. Okay, um, the next thing that we need to do is we need to insert the, the labeled diagram. Okay, and this is something again that you're going to learn a lot about in, in science, um, but the actual inserting of that, that diagram is going to happen. You're going to learn it right here. Okay, um, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click insert and we are going to insert a drawing. Okay, now this is just like any other draw app or draw tool that you have. Um, and, and it's really going to be up to you to distinguish how detailed you want your drawing. Um, but what you do need to know is that it has to be labeled. So what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to create my catapult with shapes. So I've got the base of my catapult. It's going to be a rectangle. The other part is going to be a triangle. And I'm going to have my arm there. I might put some wheels on. Okay, and this is completely up to you on how you are going to draw your diagram. Okay, um, what you need to know is that part of the requirements of the lab is that that diagram is labeled. So every time you create something, you need to make sure that you label it. Okay, so I may continue to add those shapes. So I'm going to launch smiley faces across across the hallway. So I've got my smiley faces here, and I'm just going to make sure that my traje trajectory is accurate. I'm going to label these as clay. And I'm going to finish my drawing. Now, once I've finished, what I need to do is just click Save and Close, and it will automatically insert itself, just like a picture, into my lab report. So, at the end, what you should have is, you should have a data table that's linked, you should have a chart that's inserted, and you should have a labeled diagram. Okay, um, we're going to talk a bunch in English about how to physically and, and put all these pieces together into your full lab report, and you'll also spend some time in science working on that. If you have any questions, feel free to email either of us. We'd be happy to help you out.